welcome to Switzerland. <laughs> we're here to see Broncolor Lighting Company and we're thinking about switching over our entire lighting range to Broncolor. Um, so we're visiting the factory to check out their great range of products and see exactly what they do. Our factory tour started with a look at the new Para 222, which is a replacement for the Para 220, which I used at Focus on Imaging show. The new Para 222 has got a totally central rod, so the distribution of light is very even. So the spigot is now smack bang in the center like on the Para 88. So this was really important for me because uh, I think it's a fundamental part of the design for effectively using a parabolic light or a para parabola, however you want to pronounce it. Um, so yeah, that's the new Para 222. We also had a look at the history of Bron Color, which was really fascinating. I didn't realize how far back um, they went. I think it was all the way back to 1948 and some of the old units were just incredible. Very bulky things, the old units, but a lot of them were still functioning. They've got this museum where they showed all of the uh, older units that they'd manufactured in the past. The change of the plugs actually goes back to 1971. Okay, so, so here this, this, this would work now with your existing item. So it's a 1500 joules of total power mm -hmm. on yeah. this, and then yeah. you've got four output. Four output. Yeah. Right. It's nice to have these, these labs there. <laughs> then we moved on to the factory floor itself where they actually make everything in Switzerland. All the components for the packs and the lights and everything, it's all built there. Um, really incredible because that's the sort of thing that ensures the quality because it isn't outsourced to uh, China or Taiwan or anywhere. It's just, it's all done in-house, the circuit boards, the electronics. And the build quality, I was really, really impressed with. Um, the technology is obviously top of the range but the fact that it's actually all made in Europe, in Switzerland, um, was quite incredible. And the attention to detail really was really good. Here's the move packs being produced and also um, the Scoros, I think, were tested in this room. They do a lot of testing so on all the equipment before it gets shipped this out. This thing is the, is the testing device? Yeah. This box? This box, yeah. It, uh, you will it will show this this just uh just get timer and yeah, it's, a it's a timer it's a timer that uh, it's programmed to do that amount right. of flashes okay Ooh, wow so that's testing the Scoro pack. So they go through a thorough testing program to make sure all the units are working and the output is 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 the right uh, amount of light output and power, etc. And you run this test for These are new move packs um, ready for distribution. And then uh, spent the afternoon with Urs Recker, the Broncolor photographer, and he gave me a run through all of the Broncolor lighting range, all of the accessories, the different lighting modifiers. And uh, it allowed me to really see in depth the capabilities of the range and what it could do for us and our commercial photography. So some of the modifiers in the Broncolor range were very impressive, um, helped me make my decision as to bits of equipment that were missing from um, our studio and our capabilities of uh, what we could do for product photography or how we could expand our skill set by using some of this equipment. So it was really worthwhile visiting the factory because it gave me such a better understanding of the equipment and the range and its capabilities, far more than you can gather from a, a website or reading a brochure. And it was that factory visit and seeing the quality that influenced our decision to uh, migrate our equipment and purchase the uh, Broncolor lighting range.
right now is what photographers call the magic hour. I've just spotted another great shot. I'm gonna try and put together a series of stitched images. I'm hoping for a really exciting shot. That's exactly what we want. I've got two lights set up and we've got this lovely wooden line. The exposure range is just too great. 